Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, we're looking at something very useful and very unique, especially if you're using the modular encounter systems. We have tons of enemy ships flying around in space, and you need some kind of point defense to try and take out as many as possible before they come charging at your base. So this thing that I'm currently standing on is called the Caltrops Splintering Naval Mine V2, which is this lovely thing over here. So this features four separate missiles, AI controlled, so they have a bloody long range. And well, once they detect an enemy, they'll then splinter off from the solar panel array and then fly off to the enemy and hopefully deal damage. Now one by itself is not going to be able to do too much, especially if the enemy ships have got turrets on there, they'll automatically shoot them and blast them. But having a bunch of these all spread out in an area surrounding your base is going to do a lot of damage and well, should hopefully deter anyone from coming close to you. It also features a built-in system, so once the missiles have been fully fired off, they'll then after a 3 minute timer, deploy a beacon telling you to come and collect the solar panel and everything else back to base so you can reload it and send it back out to where it just was. So press the F10 and find this in spawn menu. The Caltrops is 264 small blocks using no DLC packs and no mods. We've got one hell of a lot of information about it, including all the important stuff of how it works and then the three minute activation timer there for the beacon. And all the way down here, there's the PC block counts and a few other bits of detail. So giving this thing a thumbs up, my character can, for the moment, put the jetpack on, fly away. Now have a quick look around the outside, then we'll go and test it out. There's not too much else to talk about with this, very self-explanatory, but it's a lot of fun to use. So over here, what I'm calling the very front, what we got is a merge block for you to connect up to, say, a printing system, so you can easily print those missiles out, and, well, mass produce these things. Behind that is one of two solar panels to help power this thing, to make sure you can safely ignore it, while it's just floating around in space. Moving slightly closer, we can see a sense block with two blue lights. Then moving across over here, this is one of four missiles. So we've got a bunch of iron thrusters to help move it in all directions, and they've been partially covered up by some armored panels. Moving across to here, we then got our AI control blocks, a couple of batteries to power it, and then a few timer blocks. And over onto this section, on the very end of it, we've got one decoy and three warheads, which should do a nice solid damage, and hopefully that decoy can buy enough time to actually hit the target. But yes, over to this side, there's another solar panel, there's another time block, and we can see the merge blocks of how that's been connected up. And up to here, here's another missile, we're looking from this side, so there's our batteries, there's an AI block, there's a gyroscope, there's our warheads, and all the way down to here, that's pretty much it, for this whole thing. Now what I'm going to do is actually grab hold of my character, and we're going to just move away just a little bit, then we're going to spawn in a small ship. I'm not going to get in it, not going to fly it around, I'm just going to spawn in, give it the space powers, so we can watch how this deploys. So making sure the camera is sitting right there, back into this, into here, now I've got to find some kind of small ship that can well take the hit. Here we go, I've spawned in an enemy ship, it's now open firing on the actual mine system, but as you can see they have split off from the main body, and I'm going to start to circle around and head towards the ship. There we go, and that was a direct hit onto the small fighter, and one mine just basically obliterated that poor little ship. There is a missile running away in the distance, and there should be a few more in other directions. One of them did get a pretty bad hit before I managed to get the camera over here, and I'll continue on with the video. But there we are, that is what it does. Now imagine if you have a bunch more of these, and that's what I'm going to set up right now. I'm going to spawn one hell of a lot of these, and put in a big ship with a lot of guns on there, and we'll see how well that goes. And here we go, I've spawned in the good old Albatross to test this out. I made sure all the weapons are fully enabled, so as you can see we've got one hell of a lot of Gatling turrets on this, so they should make pretty short work to all the missiles, but to make it fair, to make this more exciting, what I've done is over here, place one hell of a lot of the naval mines, and bearing in mind each of these have got four missiles on there, that should deal one hell of a lot of damage if even a handful get through. So now grabbing hold of my character, coming to this, and well first of all, making sure I can actually use all terminals, so into this, yes I can, and now I need to come to this control panel. And control A. We're going to give this to the space pirate. In fact, let's just go and do that. Make sure everything can be seen. And now, everything is space pirates. Hop back into the seat. And we're going to start to fly over to it. And here they come. Here comes all the missiles. I can see some explosions of some of the missiles failing. There goes all the Gatling guns. They are trying their best to protect me. And it looks like, it looks like they're doing a fantastic job. But look at that absolute swarm of missiles. That's one hell of a lot of stuff. And they are chipping away at the back of the ship. And that's dealing a lot of destruction. There goes my hydrant tanks. There goes the middle of the ship. They're just shredding me into little pieces. I can no longer move this thing. And look at them all. They're absolutely swarming me. Bringing the free camera over, getting closer look. They should be coming around for another attack. 
I still have at least one Gatling gun on there. It's trying its best. There's a second one now open firing. And there goes a few more. It looks like they are going for a few of the wreckages in the distance or even parts of the ship. But once that is dealt with, once they have done with that, they should now turn around and head back towards the main ship. There we go. They're now coming back to the back of the ship. They're destroying that. We're almost at the hangar bay. Coming around to here, what is going on? Not much of that ship is remaining, but they do seem to be rather fixated on the parts being broken off. You want to zoom away just a little bit? Are there any missiles flying around? Yes, there is. Look at all of them. They still have not decided to actually go for the main body of the ship. They're still going for all the little parts in the distance. They might be a little bit damaged, which is why they're not actually going for the ship. But no, there we go. They now turn their attention back to the main body of the Albatross. Now come back over here with the camera. The Gatling guns have engaged once again. And here they come. A few of them have been destroyed. And it looks like they are trying to go for that back part right there. It looks like they are trying to go for that Gatling gun. That was a direct hit. That is now gone. They should now be going for the other Gatling guns around the ship. And there we go. That one's now trying to rotate. That one's going to blow up. Yes, it did. And that was one hell of a lot of destruction. It wasn't that many caltrops at the end of the day. It was only about 20, 30. And if you are trying to protect yourself from any kind of mortar encounter systems like encounters, you'll probably want to have at least 50 of them to actually ensure your survival. But yes, that is pretty much it for the Caltrops Splintering Naval Mine. It's a bloody fantastic mod if you do want to have a bit of defense. They are a bit more fun than just having mines laying everywhere, which can activate on your ships if you're not paying attention. But with these, they at least know friend from foe and can do a lot of damage if you've got plenty of them. And bearing in mind the ship had a load of guns on there, it did a fantastic job at trying to defend itself, and the mines did a fantastic job at actually destroying the ship. There'll be a link to the description below if you do wish to download it and play around with it yourself. Highly recommend you do. And I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.